Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a Sephora haul or a fall haul for you today. Um, plus I have some products that aren't from Sephora. Actually, a lot of this stuff is not from Sephora, but you can get it at Sephora. So that's why I'm calling this a Sephora haul. <laughs> Uh, once again, I think I did that in my last haul, didn't I? <laughs> Called it an Ulta haul, but it wasn't actually all from Ulta. <laughs> anyway, you get me. You get me here. So first of all, I'm going to start with um, some products that you can't get at Sephora or Ulta. And I'm not really for sure where you can get it at, but there will be a link in the description box on where you can get it from because it is a PR product. Um, that was sent to me from the company called Wow, <laughs> and um, it was for, through Octoly. But I've been wanting to try their products, but I was a little apprehensive to try them, not because of, of the products themselves or the company or anything, it's just because of my um, childish hair. Um, doesn't like anything new, and so I'm always really reluctant especially when it's a company, when I'm asking a company, hey, can I try your product? When I know that nine times out of 10, nine and a half times out of 10, my hair is not gonna like it. So it's not really fair to a company, you know, to send me products when it's not their fault that my hair doesn't like it. But anyway, it's from this company called Wow. And like I said, the link for the products will be in the description box. And it's a shampoo and a conditioner. And I will tell you that my hair actually liked it. I know, shocker, which I'm really glad because I really, after I've been you know, seeing reviews of the product and what I've been reading, I, re I really wanted to like it because I liked, I liked, um, I don't want to say, well, I liked, first of all, I like what's not in here for one thing. And I liked, you know, what the product claims, what it claims it's supposed to do. I haven't been using it long enough to know if the claims are true or not. We'll know with time, but I like the results that I have, re have gotten so far. Oops, wrong side. My little t-shirt is popping through. Um, so anyway, one of the things that it claims to do is to help with hair growth. Um, I'm not trying to grow my hair out long. I'm just trying to get some of the volume, some of the density back into my hair. Because um, here recently I have um, experienced a whole bunch of hair loss. And it's just from some medical issues that I'm going through right now. So, and one of the reasons, um, one of the ways that it says that it does help with hair loss in the shampoo is that it um, leaves no residue behind that's gone in one dull color, which is what I was wanting to do because I'm having a lot of trouble with, you know, I go to the hair salon and get, you know, spend money to get my hair colored. And then within a couple of washes, and I don't shampoo my hair but once every five days. Um, I just don't. My hair doesn't eat it. My hair's dry. My curls don't respond very well to freshly shampooed and conditioned hair. Never has. And um, so anyway, five days. Plus, um, it doesn't have the, the ingredients in it that's going to help that's going to weigh down like the hair follicles. So it's going to let the hair follicles kind of breathe, so to speak. So that's going to help promote um, healthy hair follicles. That's going to help with hair growth. So they claim. So anyway, <laughs> I keep going like this because I just got these out of my shower, my shower and they're like wet. And I didn't bring no paper towels. So anyway, um, there's no silicones, no conditioning agents, no thickening agents. Um, to give you that false sense of thicker hair. No pearlizing ingredients, no ingredients found in typical shampoos which stay behind and dull color, weigh down hair, or even worse, can block the follicle and cause thinning. So, um, 
It's just a rich lathering, advanced sulfate free technology. Leaves nothing behind but clean, clean hair. So anyway, it smelled good. It lathered up enough, but not too much. So, and I didn't think that it like stripped my hair. I felt like it kind of leave, you know, some shine, which like I've said before in past videos, it's really hard to get shiny hair, shiny curly hair, especially shiny curly brown hair. And then it came with the conditioner also, and the conditioner was just enough amount of conditioner, um, conditioning without making it feel weighted down also. And the one that I got was for normal to thick color treated hair. Um, again, no doling, darkening, conditioning agents, keeps color fresh, leaves hair silky and supple. Um, says unlike typical conditioners that can dull and distort color. This formula features unique translucent translucent ingredients that smooth and detangle but won't dull, darken, or oxidize on hair and turn it brassy. So that's one of the problems I have problems with is my hair turning brassy because I have it done in a um, some different tones of reds. And it's a hydrating, smoothing formula with a unique um, silicone, silicone complex creates a color protecting high gloss finish and leaves hair silky and supple. So there you go. So far, I like it. Um, probably the people that are the curly hair gods, you know, like the Weed Ad and their, um, what is the other ones? Diva curl and stuff, they're probably like, oh no, you probably shouldn't use that on curly hair. It's bad for curly hair. Blah, 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 blah. But my curls like it, so. Janie Curl approved. <laughs> so anyway, so that's that's what I got from um, Wow through Octoly. Okay. <clears throat> I've had a cold or seasonal allergies. It hasn't really been a cold. It's just been allergies, really bad allergies. So I have a tickle in my throat. So I may get some um, cough drops. And these I do like. The Ricola, Ricola. Um, honey herb cough drops. These are really nice. These are good. I like these. So I have some of those. I have a drink. <laughs> I tried to come prepared. Alrighty. So let's, let's get into the makeup stuff that I bought, that I got. All of the new um, Christmas releases, all the new fall stuff has come out. And when I first started seeing stuff, I'm like, I'm not going to buy nothing. Nothing appeals to me. I don't need nothing. I got all these eyeshadow palettes, blah, 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 blah. Well. I bought. I did buy stuff. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, well, let me see. Where do we want to start? How about we start with what's on my eyes? Y'all want to see what's on my eyes? Okay, this did come from Sephora. I did. This did come from Sephora. And the reason why I purchased it at Sephora as opposed to at Ulta uh, was because I wanted to put in a code so I could get something for free. And um, it's this right here from Too Faced, the hot buttered rum eyeshadow palette. Um, yeah, it smells like hot buttered rum. I, I don't get the smell. Matter of fact, I, it doesn't really smell like a whole lot to me, period. But anyway. And it's in the little tin. It was $25, which I think is worth the $25, definitely. And I've seen a lot of reviews on it. And I like it. I like it a lot. This is the second day that I've worn it. I got it yesterday. No, I got it day before yesterday in the mail. And I wore it yesterday and I wore it today. And let's see. Let's do the breakdown. This is in my crease, this color here. 
which it has the colors on the back here, so I can't see it without my glasses, but I have this color in the crease, which is this yellow mustardy color. And then I have this color in the crease also, kind of like right below it, not up as high as I did this color. And then I have this color then on the lid. That's the shiny part that you see there. I'll shut my eyes so you can see it. Yesterday I wore this color all over the lid and then I put um, this color in the crease and then I did this in the outer edge and then I darkened it up a little bit with this color here. This color here, right here, is one of those mattes that's got a little bit of sparkle in it. But this is a very, very pretty, very pretty eyeshadow palette. It's very well worth the $25. Very worth. Really easy to work with. Very pretty fall colors. There's the swatches of the, um, I started to say all of the matte colors, but there's one more matte there that I didn't swatch, but there's that. Isn't that pretty? Very good quality, too. Um, I don't, I have not bought any of the Christmas, the Too Faced Christmas palettes. They all look cute and neat and everything, but I've always heard there's just so much um, hit or miss with the quality of those. So I just usually just kind of steer clear of those. But this one I thought was really, really pretty. There's a, the other matte one right there. You can't really see it, but that's the other matte. And then the little... Um, Shimmer shades are these right here. Right there. Really, really pretty. So, so if you looked at the holiday, the Christmas palettes, you're going to think, mm, no, I would get this one. I would get the hot buttered rum one. There's the, the shimmer ones right there. And then the other one that I'm kind of looking at, but I don't know, is the, um, is it the gingerbread, the extra spicy? I'm kind of back and forth. I'm back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on that one. Back and forth. So, and then on my lips, I have this. Uh, this, I didn't buy this this year. I've had this for two years now, but this is came out this is re-released this year but it's the um, Too Faced Melted Matte in Gingerbread Girl so I have that on my lips and it looks really good with this with that palette so if you don't have this this would be a good one to pick up too to go with that palette it looks really good and these stay this stays on really well very very good very long lasting Anyway, and so the code that I put in for the free thingy that I wanted was this little Kate Somerville Exfolicate. Um, I love using this stuff. I use this like once a week on Sundays when I wash my hair. And it's just a really good exfoliator for the face. I mean, this stuff works. It's an enzyme exfoliate, exfoliator. Um, it's, I do believe it is pumpkin. I'm not mistaken. Is it pumpkin? Is it pumpkin? I can't remember. <sighs> it just says fruit enzymes. But anyway, this stuff, you just leave it on for a couple of minutes. You don't want to leave it on any longer than a couple of minutes. And it really, really works to get all of the dead stuff off of your face and Rinse it off after that, and your face is so smooth and so bright and just looks so good. And then it's very well worth the money for the big size. But if I can get little sizes like this and just use 
as much as I can. I like getting that. And then my samples. They never ever send me the samples that I ask for. It's so aggravating. Why even let you choose if they're not going to send you what you got, what you want? Anyway, it's the IGX Coconut Oil Gel. That. I'm not going to use that. And then Juliet has a gun in Moscow Mule Perfume. I'm not going to use that either. So, anyway. And then the next thing that I actually ordered from Sephora um, that I just decided I just needed to have was uh, this here from Natasha Denona. And this was another $25 eyeshadow palette and it's the Natasha Denona mini gold palette okay let me really make sure I got that hot buttered rum off my hands so that you can see the swatches of it now she has a new one a new big palette out that um, the metropolis is that what it's called I think so that's Exclusive to Sephora. <sighs> There'll be a story to that here in a moment. But anyway, here it is. Here's the Natasha Mini Gold palette. Very, very pretty. The only repeat color in here is this one right here. And I think this one is in the gold palette, the bigger gold palette, which I have. So I really wish she wouldn't do that. I wish she wouldn't repeat colors. Makes it hard when you're a collector and then, you know, let's just do all new colors. Just, just do all colors. But anyway, it's really pretty. I really honestly and truly wanted it for this color here, the green. The green color. But I wish this green was just a little bit darker. Just a little bit deeper. Anyway, it's not, but that's okay. So let's do some swatches. I won't be able to get all of them in, but there's the swatches. I've, I've worn this once, just one time, because I got that hot butter rum and been wearing it. So I got all this like all pretty much around the same time. There's those. Look at that green. I just love green. I do. And I could incorporate that green into that hot bed of rum, and that would be really pretty. But there are that. And let me get that other color. And again, these work very, very well. Very easy to work with. Natasha Denona eyeshadows are really really nice they they're expensive but they're worth they're worth the money they really are let me swatch this other one that other one is also a green color so I'm gonna put it oh that's right by my bone well, let me put it right there it's right there but it's one of those um, colors that are that looks green there but it's not see see it's one of those shift shades where it shifts colors and I don't really like those where one way it looks one color and one way it looks another yeah but anyway there you go. There's the Natasha Denona Mini Gold Palette. Okay. Pull my sleeve up. And then um, when I ordered that, I put in a code. The reason why I ordered that is because you put in a code to get um, this. And I wanted another of the... Um, Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask, the lip mask, but I did not want to commit to another full size because it took me so long to use up the full size, like at least two years. 
I just want to commit that long to another one, but I have been missing it. I got that other um, lip mask that I got through Autoly from Prim. I just don't like it as well. It's a little gritty, and I don't like that. So this one was, you could put in a code and you could get this one for free. And this one is Green Apple, I think. Apple Lime. But it's it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. It smells good. So I don't know. This one may not last me very long. <laughs> I was like, oh, I could get this, and this will probably last me you know, like a year. <laughs> hmm, this might last me a couple months, maybe. So maybe getting a kit at Christmas that has maybe some small ones of these in it or a small one of the Laneige sleeping the lip mask maybe a small one I don't know because I am missing it I just don't want to get that big one anyway so that was the code and then um, I did get some perfumes and these were the, actually the ones that I selected and I got the liquid diamonds in Victor and Roth Magic Li Liquid Diamond and the Flower Bomb Nectar. I got those two. I don't like either one. <laughs> anyway, I got those. So that is what I actually actually ordered from Sephora. Okay. So now then, let's get into what you can get from Sephora, but I didn't order from Sephora, and I'll tell you why I didn't order from Sephora. So first of all, we'll start with this guy right here, and this way I can tell you this, the story about Natasha Denona and that palette, that eyeshadow palette that's supposed to be exclusive to Sephora, where I just seen today where Beautylish is going to get it now. It's supposed to come out on... 18th, I think Beautylish is going to get that Metropolis palette. Let me fix my lips. Oh, I don't know if you can see these. I have some skin tags burned off. <laughs> if, you, if you're noticing these little black dots right there. Anyway, it kind of makes me because what what happened was is I had a forty dollar gift card at Beautylish that I've been saving. I was going to use for something really special and I was going to get that Natasha palette Natasha Denona palette from Beautylish and use that $40 gift card and take that money off so that would drop that $129 palette down to let's see let me get my calculator here $129 because my math's not good to $89 that would have been a really good savings. That's a lot better savings than 20% off, you know, what the VIB sale is going to be. Well, then, you know, it said that the palette was, you know, exclusive to Sephora, and it wasn't on the Beautylish website. So I thought, well, okay. Well, there's this other palette that I want. So I'll just use that $40 on it because the gift card was going to be expiring here pretty soon. I've been holding off. I've been holding on to it for almost a year now. So I'll just get this other palette that was fifty-eight dollars. So I ended up paying only twenty-three dollars for it. And now I found out that um, that palette is going to be on Beautylish here in the next couple weeks. I thought I would just wait it just a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. Because I would rather save the $40 off of that Natasha Denona palette instead of off this palette. But anyway, this is from Hourglass. And it's the Ambient Blush Palette that they've come out with for holiday. I haven't bought anything from Hourglass in several years. And this is the first thing that's really been appealing to me. And I went last weekend to Sephora, uh, my local Sephora. Because I really wanted to swatch it before I ordered it, but they didn't have it. So anyway, here's what the packaging looks like if you haven't seen it. The firing light and everything else. Anyway, 
So here are the shadows. They are all blushes. And if I remember right, these two, these two right here are the regular line. And then these two right here are the, the ambient um, blushes, which are a little bit more, they have a little bit more of a glow to them. I actually have this color on right here today, wearing it as my blush today, which I couldn't tell you what color that is. What color is that? So I ended up paying $23 for this. That one is the Strobe Blush in Lucid Glow. Is that it? Lucid Glow? No. That's in Infinite Flush. It's Infinite Flush. In the regular, Infinite Flush. <laughs> I get it right. Ooh, you know what? This is going to be a long video. Jeepers. Oh. I should have done those in order. Anyway, so I got it. I mean, I was going to get it during the VIB sale anyway. So, I mean, I saved a little bit more money. The only one that is just not showing up is this one right here. And I'm pretty fair. And it's the number, it's the Brilliant Nude, which is the strobe blush. But there they are. I mean, even my, here, I mean, you can't hardly see them. But this one right here is the Brilliant Nude. I mean, it's, you can't hardly see it. And I try to really build that up. That's why I really, wanted to um, see it in person because I think if I would have seen this in person I probably wouldn't have bought it but I did I used you know that gift card so I really don't think I could send it back since I used that gift card but anyway but you can get that at Sephora so I would suggest that if you were interested in that to go to Sephora and try to look at it and swatch it and really see if that's something that you would like. Anyway, okay. The next thing that I have that I ordered off of Muse Beauty Pro, but you can get this off of, you can get this at Sephora. And the reason why I ordered off of Muse Beauty Pro is that I do get a pro discount. So I saved, was it 30%? I think it was. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I saved more than 20% off that I would have saved if I would have waited for the VIB sell. So that's why I went ahead and ordered it now from the Muse Beauty Pro instead of waiting for the VIB sell. And that is from Viseart, the Grand Pro Volume 3 palette. Yes. I, I really wasn't even thinking about getting this until I seen um, Terra Babies. <laughs> haul this and swatch it and I was like oh yes I need this I need this if you don't watch Tara Babies you need to she does a haul on Saturday nights just about every Saturday night the girl can shop and she, mm, man she gets some good stuff but oh boy oh boy wait you guys see this Look at those colors. Mm. See, even then when she first showed it like this, I was like, no, I'm not going to get that. You know, I wouldn't use all that. And then she swatched. Let me turn it upside. Let me do it this way. And then she swatched. Oh, my camera decided to um, stop. <sighs> anyway, so she was like this. And then she swatched this row right here and I was like oh and then she swatched the greens 
And then she swatched this row. And then once she did that row, I was like, oh, I need that. I need that. And then she's like, you know, Muse Beauty Pro, you know, sent this to me. You know, she, of course, she got it from PR, which lucky her. And I was thinking, man, I wonder if I'm still on their pro, their pro list, you know, where I can get a discount. And I was, which was probably not a good thing. <laughs> but I saved. I saved some money. Anyway, here's the blues. I'm not going to swatch all of these. If you want to see all the swatches, go and watch Terra Baby's um, video. Oh, she swatches all the colors. But man. And of course, you know that all this past week I've been using all of my Busy Art eyeshadows. And I have the Pro Volume 1. I don't have 2. And I'm tempted to get number 2. And of course, the only place you can buy number 2 is on Beautylish. So, two, let me do this other. So, I'm going to do all of those blues for you. There's all of those blues. Look at those blues. Man, I love those blues. You know, I am from the 80s. Oh, just brings back such good memories, those blues. Yes, they do. <clears throat> I'm going to do this row right here now. The next row. Mm -mm -mm. And of course she had an eye look on that day that was from this palette. Oh, it was so pretty. And of course I tried to recreate it. <laughs> I look like a clown. <laughs> Speaking of clowns, have y'all seen Joker? Gosh, that's a good movie. I want to see it again. That was a good movie. Man. <clears throat> Here's the next row. <laughs> Got a little crooked there. Whoops. <laughs> My swatches, they go kind of... <laughs> that's how I cut, too. Whenever I have to cut anything, I can't cut anything straight. I like those pretties. Oh, those colors are so pretty. See, this is why I'm debating on whether or not to even get that, um, that, um, oh, um, the, um, gingerbread extra spicy palette. Because I have, like, see, this one has, going to have all of those colors in there. That would be in the extra spicy palette, minus you know the the shimmer shades. So, anyway, oh, so pretty. Can't wait to play with that. Okay, so um, so then um, I'm not for sure about this brand. Okay, so now I have this. And this I did not purchase. My daughter actually gave this to me. And it's from Dose of Colors. And it's the Sassy Sienna's. And I'm pretty sure she probably got this in her boxy charm box at some point. One of those boxes. And I think you can get this at Ulta. Is that where you get boxy or you get Dose of Colors? I'm pretty sure. I think that's where I bought the one that I have. I have one that's got purples. But anyway, she said these colors wouldn't work for her. So she gave it to me. So once again, another fall looking palette, huh? So don't even, I don't even think she even swatched this or anything. So I am all set really for new fall palettes. And today we had our first frost this morning, so isn't that pretty? And we actually had our heat on, or I had the heat on a little bit this morning, just a little bit to get the chill off the house. Which is kind of funny because like two days ago we had the air conditioner on. <laughs> the way it always goes, we never really have any in between. So that, she gave me that from Dose of Colors. And then from Ulta, I did go to Ulta. 
I had to get some more eyebrow pencils. <laughs> Um, from Elf, their brow pencil in blonde. So I have some backups of those. And then Target has been doing their um, 14 Days of Beauty. And this past Sunday when I was there, the Pixie um, Glow Tonics were on sale 40% off. And I've always wanted to try their normal Glycolic Glow Tonic, just the normal one that everybody talks about. So I got one of these, it was like $9 and some change instead of $18. That's why it rang up. You know, come to think of it, that was more than 40% off. But anyway, so that I do believe is, did I forget anything? Nope, that is it. That is it for the haul. We finally got through, yay. <laughs> so that was a lot of stuff. So anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.